To carry a suitcase on an airplane, the length plus the width plus the height of the rectangular luggage must be less than or equal to 78 inches. Given the volume of the luggage is V equals H times the square of 39 minus 1 half H, what height would allow for the greatest volume and what is the maximum volume? To begin, there is a restriction on the values of H since the length plus the width plus the height must be less than or equal to 78, then we can also say that H must be greater than or equal to zero and less than or equal to 78. Let's go ahead and state that restriction. In order to maximize the volume, we need to determine the critical numbers of the volume function by determining where the first derivative is equal to zero or undefined. And notice how to find the derivative of V with respect to H, we will have to apply the product rule where the first function is H and the second function is the square of 39 minus 1 half H. And therefore V prime is equal to the first function of H times the derivative of the second function, which is the derivative of the square of 39 minus 1 half H with respect to H. And then we have plus the second function, which is the square of 39 minus 1 half H times the derivative of the first function, which is the derivative of H with respect to H. This gives us V prime is equal to H times, to differentiate the square of 39 minus 1 half H with respect to H, we need to apply the chain rule. The derivative is two times the quantity 39 minus 1 half H to the power of one times the derivative of 39 minus 1 half H with respect to H, which is negative 1 half. And then we have plus the square of 39 minus 1 half H times the derivative of H with respect to H, which is one. To simplify, notice how both products contain one factor of 39 minus 1 half H. So let's factor out 39 minus 1 half H from both products. Notice if we factor 39 minus 1 half H from the first product, we're left with H times two times negative 1 half, which is negative H. And then we have plus, if we factor one factor of 39 minus 1 half H from the square of 39 minus 1 half H, we're left with one factor of 39 minus 1 half H. And let's go ahead and simplify one more time. We have V prime is equal to the quantity 39 minus 1 half H, and then times we have negative H or negative 1 H plus negative 1 half H, that's negative 3 halves H plus 39. There are no values of H where the derivative is undefined, and therefore to find the critical numbers, we set the derivative equal to zero and solve. The derivative is zero, where 39 minus 1 half H is equal to zero, or when at negative 3 halves H plus 39 is equal to zero. Solving the first equation for H, we subtract 39 on both sides. This gives us negative 1 half H equals negative 39, to solve for H, we multiply both sides by negative two, which gives us H equals 78. But notice how 78, but notice how the sum of the length, width, and height must be less than or equal to 78. So if the height is 78, then the width and length would have to be zero, giving a volume of zero. So this isn't going to maximize the volume, but we'll also check this graphically. And solving the second equation for H, we subtract 39 on both sides. And then multiply both sides by the reciprocal of negative three halves, which is negative two thirds. Simplifying on the left, we just have H equals on the right. Before multiplying, we can simplify. There's one three and three and 13 threes and 39 leaving us with negative 13 times negative two, which is 26. To make sure that the height of 26 inches does maximize the volume, we should check to make sure that the volume function changes from increasing to decreasing at H equals 26. We could do this by testing H equals, let's say 25 and then H equals 27 in the derivative function. But let's go ahead and check this graphically. Before looking at the volume function here on the left, let's look at the graph of the derivative function on the right. The graph of the derivative function does verify we have critical numbers at H equals 26 and H equals 78. 
The graph also verifies the derivative function changes from positive to negative at h equals 26, which indicates the volume function on the left changes from increasing to decreasing at h equals 26, resulting in a relative maximum. Similarly, the graph of the derivative function verifies the derivative changes from negative to positive at h equals 78, which means the volume function changes from decreasing to increasing at h equals 78, and we have a relative minimum. Because we want to maximize the volume, we now know a height of 26 inches will maximize the volume. Also notice how the second value of the ordered pair indicates the maximum volume is 17,576 cubic inches. So going back to our first slide, let's first record the height that maximizes the volume as h equals 26 inches. Let's also verify the maximum volume, which we just saw on the graph, by evaluating the volume function at h equals 26. v of 26 is equal to 26 times the square of 39 minus 1 half times 26 which we can see here gives us the same maximum volume as the graph did of 17,576 cubic inches. I hope you found this helpful.